What's up? Happy Saturday morning and welcome to Keeping the Shred Alive. I am your host, Steve Ricardo. Happy Saturday. It's early. Most of us are probably in bed right now, relaxing, kicking back. Not this guy. So, I'm bringing you the best every weekend with my orange juice. Absolutely. So, this show basically features a bunch of cool stuff. Some of it's meaningless, some of it's cool to watch. But the bottom line, we are looking for those guys and individuals, musicians and bands out there that are keeping the shred alive. That's right. So you could be on the show. I swear to God, you could be. Could be a good thing, right? So, being Saturday morning, you know, if you are first time checking the show out, this is the fifth episode. Five. We're well, five episodes deep, people. This is awesome. Uh, subscribe down below somewhere there. Give me a thumbs up. Or if you give me a thumbs down, tell me why. Don't just give me a thumbs down and people are also like, what the fuck me? What's going on? So tell me what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I can make it better. Maybe I can't. No big deal. So uh, yeah, do that and hit the bell. Then you see what are all the other shows that I'm doing that's coming up. So being Saturday, you guys had an awesome night. Friday night listening to Keep uh, the, um, you know, Raise Your Horns Metal Radio Station, right? Yeah! If you're a band from anywhere in the world, you want to be on the show, hit them up. That's the show. Link's on my page. Uh, last night was a was an awesome show. Lots of cool bands, lots of stuff. I mean, like bands from Europe. Come on, it's awesome. The States, South America. If you're down there and you're watching this, check it out. Hit them up. So he'll play your music. So it's a good thing. It's been a crazy week. It's been a crazy two weeks. Uh, last episode, I talked about the fact that I did my uh, my first aid. Uh, was finishing my first aid. Uh, t- yesterday was the exam. It was long day. Uh, Thursday was uh, the written exam, Saturday, um, yeah, that's right, Thursday was the written exam, Friday was the practical, so um, I'm so excited, it's really cool because um, they, they changed the system in Canada, uh, or on BC anyway, because BC we weren't following Red Cross, so now we're following Red Cross, so this is my Red Cross, so it's cool, uh, I got my Red Cross one for infant, and then I got my main one for my... Level three, there you go. <laughs> really cool. Uh, super excited. Uh, in a couple of weeks from now, we're gonna go uh, talk to um, you know first aid tra- valley first aid training. So we're gonna go talk to them. Uh, Sean was my teacher. Super cool guy. Real down to earth. How are you guys doing? Hey, it's kind of like smelling. But you guys uh, having coffee in there? What's going on there? <laughs> All right. So um, really cool. So if you're looking for something to do, that you the cool thing with first aid level three. Um, and I got a lot of friends who do this, is they work concerts. Great opportunity to work concerts. Yes, you're working, but I mean, you get to be behind the scenes, you get to work with bands, and uh, making sure all you metalheads out there don't get hurt. Because those posh pits, man, I've been in the mosh pits. Pretty risky in there, pretty crazy. So, love you guys for, uh, for doing what you do. And mad respect for all you first aid attendants out there. It is hard work. We do what we can to make sure you guys are safe. Uh, Being Saturday, tomorrow's OA number 44, dude. So if you haven't seen my uh, 43, there it is. Um, The saga continues. Tomorrow's, I think, close to being the last episode of what's happening. And then I, uh, yeah, running out of ideas. (laughs) What I'm working on, I'm working on it. So... Keeping, uh, keeping the shred alive doing that with the Yola thing. And the Yola is awesome. So if you are a guitar player and you, or a bass player and you want to try something new, uh, go check out Ola England and what he's doing on his page. So he does reviews. Same thing what I'm doing. But every Sunday he hosts uh, Sunday Riff Challenge with a Sunday with Ola, right? So what it is is he supplies the drums. You download the drums from his Dropbox and then you basically put your guitar parts over it and you record it and you hashtag... Ola, hashtag OLA, and the number of whichever episode you happen to be going, and then he checks it on. If you're lucky enough, you get to be on uh, his show, so he'll feature you. The grace of God, I've been on there twice. I'm not gonna brag, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I was on there in, uh, I like to say probably December, I think I was on the show, I can't remember. December? Yeah, wife says yes, it was December. Uh, and then I was on a couple weeks ago for number 42, I think it was, or 41. Anyway. Do check it out. It's fun to do this, and as a guitar player, it's kind of neat, or bass player, to keep you guys as kind of molded. Mm, the brain working, right? Creating tunes and shit. So you'll like that. So anyway, but I'm happy. 
It's Saturday, the stress is gone, my wife is happy, my kids are happy, the house is happy. I'm no longer coming home with like, I'm gonna pass this test, so it's pretty cool. I've passed. I can now save your ass if you get hurt. Pretty cool, pretty cool, I'm excited. Um, you know, and Chuck Billy, right? Kudos to him. Um, some people who are basically uh, first aid attendants or paramedics. Uh, Chuck Billy from Testament, he is a full throttle um, paramedic. David Lee Roth, uh, and there's numerous musicians out there if you Google paramedics in the rock industry, but you know, Chuck Billy comes to mind and David Lee Roth, right? So, both paramedics. Absolutely. Um, so tomorrow's Ola 44, did I already mention that? Uh, the, review, the review that I did with the Harley Benton guitars came out Thursday. Lots of kudos, a lot of people are looking into the Harley Benton guitars, and they're awesome. They're super cheap, they're not expensive, and for the price you're paying for it, I'm blown away. I really am, I'd love to get another one, but uh, yeah, they're cool. So, uh, yeah, little tidbit for that. Last little bit uh, before we sure can, um, kicks into what's happening. Um, Lou Ottens, Lou Otten, Lou Ottens, uh, the inventor of the cassette tape. Yeah, wow, I'm old. <laughs> the inventor cassette tape dies at age 44. Um, yeah, we'll touch base that in the news, but anyway. Hey, welcome to the show. Here we go. Hey, what's up? Okay, the news. This is brought to you by Metal Titans. Keeping the Metal Titans and the entertainment industry going. So a lot of my information comes from them. I go to their website. Website is listed always always on my show in the details down below go check them out metal titans uh, they're awesome uh, yeah just doing their part for heavy metal sweet totally uh lou Otten, the inventor of cassette tape he died man 94 years old for those of us who are <laughs> old enough to remember the cassette tape i remember making mixtapes off the radio uh or friends of mine who had like um album or vinyl and we basically hold it to get a blaster towards the, the record player and then we record you know, our metal or the stuff that we couldn't afford but once the tape came out it was freaking awesome so Dutch engineer was also instrumental in developing the first CD uh, to work at Philips so yeah go figure crazy technology now we're like you know cell phones that are this big and basically we hold shit tons of information on it and yeah, imagine having vinyl record player in your car when you're driving not gonna happen. All right, today in the news, uh, some local stuff. This is important because this is good. Uh, local band called Celestial Ruin, uh, big announcement day. Uh, their new single is finally coming to life. Uh, we are scheduled to record uh, at one of the best recording facilities ever. It's official. On April 16th, S uh, Celestial Ruin will take over the Armory. Really cool. Congrats, guys. Uh, that's not even the big announcement. In May, we continue our amazing relationship with uh, Square Egg Visions uh, as we now again uh, join forces with Dave Benedict uh, in creating our new music video. Dave Benedict from uh, Default, absolutely. So, pretty cool. So, let's see what happens with them. You know, they're, they're still going strong, and uh, let's see what the. I'm excited to see the video. All right, um, some sad news, unfortunately. We all, you know, other than. Then Lou Watton's, we have to also talk about uh, legendary entombed vocalist LG Petrov. He died at the age of 49. Um, still looking at further details what happened, but uh, yeah. Um, much respect. Awesome singer. Yeah. So, yeah, moving forward. All right. Uh, Bill Ward. Wow, you know, we haven't really talked about much Sabbath because they've been quite uh, peaceful in the whole thing with uh, the COVID stuff. And I know Ozzy's not physically doing very well. But uh, Bill Ward says he's no longer has his chops or the ability to perform with Black Sabbath. 72-year-old uh, founding Sabbath drummer uh, made admission during uh, an appearance earlier yesterday on Sirius XM, uh, the Trunk Nation with Eddie Trunk. Asked if he's personally okay with Sabbath being done as a... Uh, Touring and recorded entity, uh, Bill didn't even appear to be the band's. Uh, he wasn't in the last uh, album that they did because I think they got the drummer from Rage Against the Machine, kind of thing. So um, otherwise, he's done with the Black Sabbath legendary. He says, "I haven't been done, but I've made it done. Uh, I'm not capable of doing this anymore. So the uh, the other members might be done, but I'm technically not. But I just can't play anymore. I don't have the chops." 
to do anything recording wise nor touring wise with Black Sabbath and um, I don't have the ability to write like the band wants to and do that on stage I have been basically out of commission for a long time so 60 years is pretty old to be keep going but uh, yeah well awesome inf influence for a lot of drummers including myself Bill Ward was really instrumental in doing a lot of stuff that we were uh, just learning off of, right? So, totally. Um, also, back to local news again. Uh, new Crack Core album is coming out soon, so check it out. Hit up uh, Crack Core on Facebook, and then you'll be able to see what is shaking in their department. So, congrats on that. Some other big news that we've got coming up. Um, Corn have something called Monumental. It's a global streaming event. Comes out on your screens on April 24th. Uh, wherever you are, immerse yourself in the uh, live stream performance from the heart of downtown Los Angeles um, at Stranger Things. The drive into experience, early bird tickets, exclusive bundles, and virtual meet and greets. Uh, virtual meet and greets. I don't know. Do you want to really? That's just me. You know, would I want to pay like say two, three hundred dollars to just have someone come on a screen and say, "Hey, how's it going?" You know, yeah, can even get an autograph. I mean, it's kind of like Cameo, right? Pay a couple bucks, guy talks about you, whoop de ding But yeah, virtual meet and greet packages are now available at cornlive.com, April 24th, a big event. So I mean, I still watch it, just uh, don't know if I'd really be, I don't know, weird. Anyway, uh, more news. So Dragon Force guitarist uh, Herman Lee is hosting a telethon live stream event, uh, fundraising for the Twitch channel and proceeds all going to Jason Becker. Those of you who know Jason Becker is a godly guitar player who is, um, yeah, MS and a bunch of things, basically. He's still going, but yeah, they're trying to assist him in increasing medical expenses during this pandemic time. Uh, Jason is selling three of his most important guitars, the guitar from the Speed Metal Symphony, the guitar from uh, Perpetual Burn, and the original PV numbered guitar played by himself and Andy Van Halen in... Uh, there's a couple of videos on that. If you go onto YouTube, you can see that. Um, Kessel Guitars has also donated two Jason Becker signature models to auction off as well. These guitars will go on sale April. Uh, no date yet. Uh, I'm honored to be able to help Jason, as uh, Herman Lee says, and I'm um, hoping that something in this community can make a difference for him. So the guitar community is also getting together with some real special guests. We're excited for this. So, I mean, I have the list here. It's unbelievable. So, guitarists will be uh, joining Herman Lee Live, Herman Lee Live, uh, remotely and upcoming episodes to jam with Jason's guitars. Over 10 grand has been raised so far uh, since this whole thing started. Participants will include Marty Friedman, Steve Vai, Steve Lukather, Mark Tremonti, Gian Petrucci, Tosin Abbasi. Uh, Kiko Loreo, uh, David Ellison, Michael Angelo Batillo, uh, Jared Dines, Alex Skolnick, uh, Zoltan Battery, Bathory, uh, Sam Tomlin, The Do, uh, Matthias, John Five, Tim Henson, Nita Strauss, Orianti, uh, Ola England. There you go. Um, Gus G, uh, Stevie T, Cole Roslin, uh, Rusty Cooley, McLaughlin, Chris Broderick, Nina Brashi, Lori Basali, uh, and the list just goes on. So they'll be joining him April 1st at 1 p.m., 4 p.m. Eastern Time to chat and jam. Really cool and supportive Jason Becker. And I uh, hope you guys will basically tune in and check that out. So there's the news. What's up? All right, so now we're shooting the shit. You know, this is the part of the show that we just talk about whatever, whatever happens, yada, 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 just to keep you guys informed, whatever has been coming up down the pipeline that I'm doing, or it's just something that's interesting that I want to talk about. So, we're shooting the shit. Ah, drink your orange juice. All right, so, I want to touch base on, we've been talking every last couple of weeks about WB Gear and everything else, and the cool part of WB Gear and all the things that containment of uh with endorsements and stuff like that we've talked about so 
do check out Prestige Guitars. They are based out of Vancouver, BC. Oh, so cool, because I'm like literally an hour drive to them. Awesome company, great guitars. Um, Prestige Guitars. Fantastic, guys. Um, so, some of the endorsement people that are on there. Uh, we have Todd Kearns. We have Devin Townsend. Um, I mean, Todd Kearns from, from like Slash and Age of Electric. When, I think it was Age of Electric. Yes, when he was here back in Vancouver a long day. So anyway, um, Slash and the Conspirators. We've got um, Devin Townsend, the legendary Devin Townsend. Come on, you know, strapping a lad. And um, Eric Bass from Shinedown. Um, phenomenal bass player. Hoogies is tech. And uh, myself. So, yay. And there's tons of other artists that are on that, uh, on that great company to work with. So, when I was doing the Bonnie Scott stuff, the ECDC, I went, I went to them and I went, I, I need something that's reminiscent of, uh, of Malcolm. That would be cool. That's uh, got my own little flair to it, but yet still. And they're like, oh, dude, we got the thing for you. So, this was my endorsement guitar with, with them. And I did a piece on it a while ago, a review, but just a fantastic, fantastic guitar. Absolutely. So do check them out um, through, go to their website and then just see what kind of stuff they have. If they're locally, if you are from Vancouver, um, then you can go check them out. Send them an email, see if they're open, and then plan a time and go down and check out their inventory and their showroom. The showroom is just fantastic. I love those guys. So um, this was the Ace Coupe uh, single pickup, um, TV Jones in it, and it just, it fit the Bonnie Scott thing so much, it was awesome. Um, just a wicked freaking guitar to play, and I, I love this thing, I love it. Totally. So, uh, in regards to that, so that's basically Prestige Guitar, so go check them out, I do like them, they got a lot of, they got a little bit of everything, right? So. If you're in like the hard rock and the rock kind of stuff, um, another one who's also is Rex <coughs> from Pantera. So he's also endorsed by them. So don't want to forget about him. He's an awesome guitar player and a bass player. So great company. Uh, they really work with their artists, and they're just they're just all around cool. I've got nothing bad to say about them. I mean, just check them out. So yeah, cool stuff. Uh, in regards to that part B of you know guitar playing and stuff, is that we, we always been talking every week keeping yourself busy. So I've been noticing more guys have been paying attention and they're doing that and they've been sending me emails and you know, hey man, thanks a bunch. And so the, the ones that I've been noticing that are really cool, the ones that have been getting back to me is they're doing like break tutorials on a song. They'll take a song and they'll break it up and they'll take the riffs and everything else. So it's cool. So the guys that are doing that, they're keeping, again, they're keeping themselves active. They're learning a song like say a Megadeth or a Slayer song <coughs> and they're breaking it up for you. Um, Things like that, right? Keep yourself, uh, out, you know, active that way, which is a key thing because you're keeping yourself playing during these COVID times, and you're keeping your chops up, taking a song, breaking it down into segments, teaching how the song goes. Anything flies. Anything's good because it keeps the law, the watcher and the listener on the YouTube channel uh, interactive with what's happening. So that's number one and big huge kudos on my end because you're keeping yourself busy. Anything works. You know, you want to talk about gear. You want to talk about your amps and what kind of amps you use, which apparently is on my list for an next show or two. And on all that, it keeps asking me, what cabs am I using and what amps am I using? So I'll get to that, no problem. So yeah, just little things, right? Um, the another thing that we're doing right now, especially with I'm doing it with, um, with Jeremy Wooten, is we're gonna collaborate in a song. He's already got the song written. We opened up a Dropbox. The song's on Dropbox. So now I gotta take the song and I gotta put some leads on it. And reach out to the guitar players or drummers out there that are on YouTube that you're, you know, familiar with and you comment on a regular basis. Send him a send him a message. Say, hey, dude, you know, you want to work together? I want to do some kind of project or a song or something, and then make a video. He makes a video because you know he can because he's already on YouTube. You know you can because you're already on YouTube. So the both of you get a bass player and you can start doing different projects. So use the mind and be creative and try to get something out there because music keeps us safe right that's right all right so i was shooting the shit that's right orange juice does the body good you know what else does 
shredding. This is the part of the show we talk about keeping the shred alive. Absolutely. So. Oh yeah. In my holy quest for bands and guitar players and drummers and bass players, singers, I haven't gotten there yet, that are keeping busy through these COVID times and keeping themselves active and keeping themselves interested in what the fuck's happening with the society and with themselves. By pushing the envelope and the boundaries that their bang could possibly go into, that's why I have this segment of the show. So, with this segment, every week I host a band and a musician who's doing something fucking awesome or just keeping the shred going and keeping the torch passed on. Why? Because what else am I going to fucking do? <laughs> there's no hockey, there's no football. Hockey's boring in my books. And any kind of sports that has any fans around it, you kind of go, hmm. <laughs> so, all right. Nonetheless, here we go. Um, let's start with the local band. And I'm going through my list, I'm going through my list, and I'm like, no, 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 wait! So these guys I've played for before. Um, I was in another band that we did a couple shows with them. Great bunch of guys. Solid guys, solid musicians, fun to be around, and they're focused. They fucking just, you know, focused. That's what you guys gotta be, focused. So, lo and behold, drum roll please. There's no drum roll, but anyway, uh, Arrow in the Quiver, all hailing from Vancouver, British Columbia, an all Filipino band was formed in the circa 2016, arises from the ashes of a previous pursuit initially intended to be a project band that did not transpire. So, uh, in transcendence with what is known today as Arrow in the Quiver. Awesome. <laughs> with defiance to be boxed into just one genre, the band's approach to incorporate with a diverse range of styles and melodic to metal to punk to hip hop. Thrash and hardcore making each of their songs truly unique, and that they do. Uh, absolutely. Uh, they have opened up an international tour by worldwide uh, Filipino band uh, Slapshock. That was an awesome show at the Rickshaw in Vancouver, Columbia, which a lot of bands play the rickshaw. I've shared that stage many times with different bands from a lot of bands. <laughs> but your babies comes to mind, and then of course we did a couple shows there. But uh, anyway, nonetheless, uh, performing local gigs, being in one of the band's performance twice, uh, securely at the annual Adstock, which is an awesome outdoor event in Maple Ridge, British Columbia. Uh, rock Festival in Maple Ridge. Aaron the Quiver has graced the front cover of local Maple Ridge newspaper. The band delivers a high intensity performance with aggressive music wrecking stage after stage after stage. Fuck yeah! These guys are awesome. So they are definitely keeping the shred alive. Um, killer song just came out recently. Here is Aaron and the Quiver with their coolest fucking song. Check it out.
Yeah, awesomeness. Do check out their page. I'll uh, I'll put them. I'll put the link in the uh, description down below. So check out Arrow and the Quiver. Awesome bunch of guys. Touche. Keep it going, guys. <coughs> so again. If you are a band or a guitar player or a bass player or whatever, you want to get noticed. Uh, and I've, I've gotten quite a few. You know, I want to make sure that we can deliver something that's awesome. So we've got what it takes. Shoot me some information. We'll check it out. So hashtag keeping the shred alive. Hashtag keeping the shred alive. Like that or do. We've got a video on YouTube. We've got a band on YouTube. We've got a new video coming out. Put the tag in there and I'll check it out and I'll check the date and corresponding with what's happening. And uh, you could be on the show so fantastic with that uh guitar player i've been watching for a little while he does covers of megadeth um uh, children of bodum etc etc you know awesome guitar player but he's got a good page it just needs more information so if you are watching this update your information a bit on the page because people that way they can know a little bit about you and uh what you're all about you got cool videos you got some cool stuff going on just need some more information that you can back to us right totally so with that um, I've been watching his videos because he does a lot of Megadeth stuff I love Megadeth and with the Ola so he does the Ola competition he saw it great little video they're always positive and uh, they kick ass so with that Philip Lang so <coughs> guitar player extraordinaire knows what the fuck he's doing he's got his stuff together and he shreds like no other so awesome dude watch his videos Philip Lang um, let's check out one of his vids. Let's do this. And voila, ta-da, there you go. So that is Philip Lang. I hope you enjoyed his video. His videos are awesome and I like what he does. I'll put the link for him down below in the description and you guys can check him out. So with that, this concludes another awesome Saturday. Thank you for sharing it with me. Whether you're in bed or just waking up or just coming home from work, it's 10 a.m. in Vancouver. What can we do, right? Keep the shred alive. Remember, hashtag keeping the shred alive. Thanks for watching. I have been Steve. You guys have been awesome. Till next one, stay frosty, and I'll see ya. See ya.